Well, hello, Virgo. Wow. Welcome to your channeled intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies, here's your weekly reading. General reading. Take what resonates. Sorry. Leave the rest for everyone else. Got a couple that fell on the floor. I apologize. Let me grab them. Nice. Excellent. General reading, as I said, take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. If it does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy, if you'd like to claim the reading or just tell me where you're watching from, I always get a kick out of that, throw a comment below the video. Now, with that said, um, thanks again for your likes. Thanks for clicking the button to subscribe to the channel. At the end of the video, personal story of abundance or manifestation. So just uh, if you want to watch all the way through. All right. So we have the love card. We have the messenger of water, ace of fire, and the ten of earth. Wowza. All right. Love. This is about... In this particular deck, it's about oneness. It's about the connection. Realizing your connection to the all that is. Realizing the connection to your higher self. You know, our energy, our chi, our soul. Pure love. Pure love. The highest vibration out there. Because the vibration is so high, we only can get a little piece of it in our body. The rest of the, our soul is right here. They call it the higher self. So it's connecting to the all that is, that oneness, the, the feeling that you are not alone, that you have opportunities to create, okay? Co-create, connecting more to the rest of the energy to be able to manifest into this physical world. Remember, spiritual being having an earthly experience. All right, we have the messenger of water. This is about seeing the best in others. This is about heightened emotional awareness we have the ace of of uh, ace of fire and the ace is about spirit powered action it's about enthusiasm transformation co-creation so it totally aligns with all of this you're connecting to the all that is the one is the higher self and spirit Okay, highly emotional state. Love is an emotion, energy in motion, co-creation. And boy, I love the 10 of earth. You know what the 10 of earth is? Yeah, it's total wealth, material, abundance, mastery of that connection, financial security, wealth and knowledge. So, yowza, really, really nice uh, foundational cards for you. Let's see if we can't get any clarification from the smallest deck in the world. Spirit. Ow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. So, what do we have here? We have the two of um, coins, the six of coins. The page of coins, the six of cups, and the three of rods or wands for you. Two of coins. All right, so maybe there's a little bit of juggling going on, a little balance needed. Maybe you're a bit off more than you can chew. Ways to organize yourself this week that's going to make you work smarter, not harder. Um, you might be balancing, you know, a little bit of finance. Just know that once you get that structure there, it looks like you're going to be moving into a place that you're going to be happy about. Six of Coins is about money coming. Uh, this is about that generosity, having the support you need for your endeavors, be, having enough to share your generosity with others. It doesn't have to be money. It could be your time. It could be you just saying good morning to a senior in the grocery store. Okay. You've got the Page of Pentacles, the Bearer of Good News, the Pages pushing, um, uh, communicating that progress, uh, good news and finance. You've got the Six of Cups. This is that 
um, information coming that's going to help you solidify things. And the information is coming, the good news comes from the past. Okay, maybe it's a trip down memory lane. Maybe it's a phone call from someone you haven't um, talked to in a, in a while that's going to help you illuminate, turn that light bulb on for you. And then we have the three of rods. I love this guy. Okay, this three of, of, of rods or wands is about good fortune, success, uh, projects being started or projects coming to fruition. So getting that material result. So really nice reading for you. Uh, before we get into the story, I want to thank you again for your likes. Thanks for your subscribes. Also, if you like the story, then uh, throw a comment below the video. And if you don't like the story, honey, then you know you don't have to listen all the way through. But thanks for, for, for supporting the channel. This week's story is about uh, the most amazing meal I've ever had. I was in uh, the L.A. Bell area visiting a friend of mine who's um, a producer for reality television. I was dressed nice. It was during the afternoon. She was dressed nice. We had a nice walk, a chat, a drink. Uh, and then as I was driving back to the hotel I was staying, I got lost. I made a ride on Wilshire Boulevard. Ooh, Beverly Hills. Ooh. You know, and as I'm passing this, this hotel and restaurant, Spirit says, no, you need to go there. It's like, okay, spirit, well, if I need to go here, then my bill better not be more than 20 bucks. <laughs> and I laughed. And I walked in. It was Bizarre by Jose Andres. You can look it up. Very swanky five-star uh, restaurant. Tapas, of all things. You know, $30 slice carpaccio. And I sat at this huge service bar. And I don't know who they thought I was. I ordered a little soup, a little sparkling wine, a little cava. And... Um, they kept bringing me food, this olive dish. Oh, my gosh. And I'm like, oh, I didn't order that. No, we want you to have it. Then this other thing, no, we want you to have it. You know, this guy was slicing carpaccio. There were two people I needed to actually speak to, strangers. But I had apparently needed to tell them something. I had messages for both of them. One of them was a waiter, and I hit my, I stepped back, uh, and uh, he was leaning against the wall. And I leaned against the wall next to him and I said, I just want you to know you're appreciated. And the guy's eyes bugged out and he goes, oh my God, I was going to quit tonight. I said, this is a special message for you. And that was one, there was another lady that, that, that I needed to speak to that was sitting next to me at the service bar, just sat down there. And I had a message for her as well. And when the bill came, yep, 20 bucks. And I probably ate two, well, maybe two hundred dollars worth of food, but you know, very high price, delicious, the most amazing meal I've ever had. Manifestation. Now I had a quest. I had to go and help these people or give these messages, but because of that, I asked, "Hey, I don't want to come out of pocket more than twenty bucks." That's exactly what happened. So this is just one of. Oh my gosh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stories. New stories each week. Again, I said it light. I let it go. I just followed what I thought. You know, your gut tells you what, what you're supposed to do. And if it doesn't feel good in your gut, you know. All right, guys. But manifesting, stay in that beautiful energy, that higher vibration. If you like the story, throw a comment below. If you didn't like the story, honey, you know what you can do. That's right. You don't have to watch through the video. Hope you had a little laugh. Hope you have some fun this week. Uh, it seems it's going to be a good one. Take care, and we'll see you soon.